An early morning fire destroyed a commercial building and sent smoke across the city of Helena. The fire was reported just after 6 a.m. this morning at a warehouse on the 1000 block of Phoenix Avenue. When firefighters arrived, they found a fully engulfed camper parked next to the building and fire within the building. Firefighters entered the building but found conditions inside too dangerous and had to retreat. According to the fire department, the building did not have a sprinkler system. The start of the fire remains under investigation. At this point, we're still trying to investigate that, but we believe it started on the exterior uh, from an individual that was camping in a camp trailer next to the building. We believe that was the area of origin. And it made its way from that camper into the eaves and had made access into the building. The fire department says cold weather may result in steam rising from the fire for several days. Multiple agencies assisted with uh, putting, the fire, putting out the fire and there were no reports of injuries. We've seen an alarming trend of structure fires as we head into the winter season and the Lewis and Clark Rural Fire Council has found a common theme among most of those fires. Homes are not protected by working smoke detectors. MTN's Tom Buchanan spoke with the fire departments in the county about how important they truly are if a fire breaks out. As the weather gets chillier, more and more households are using heat sources to stay warm. But using such things as space heaters and fireplaces comes with a risk. And as you can see here behind me, a structure fire is no joke. This is the time where we have to recognize that there's, there is risk. Uh, we just went fire, through fire prevention month uh, where we got into a lot of the schools in our communities to talk about fire prevention with the kids. Now it's the adults time to take, take action. Uh, check your smoke detectors, install new ones, change your batteries, uh, make sure you have working carbon monoxide detectors as well, and, and that's what's going to help protect your family. Wednesday morning's structure fire in Helena marks the eighth structure fire in Lewis and Clark County in six weeks. Six of them were residential and two were commercial. All six residential fires had occupants in the homes and no working smoke detectors. Well, this follows a national trend during the winter months. Uh, you know, heating, electrical, those, those types of systems are a little bit under, more under stressed as we're in those cold weather periods. Uh, and so I just caution the public that, you know, your, your actions to prevent the fire in the first place and working smoke detectors will save lives. West Valley Fire Rescue Chief Frank Dahlquist was on the scene to help put the fire out Wednesday morning. This was only hours after another fire in the valley was sparked in a basement with eight occupants. Dahlquist says that a number of people sustained injuries, but none that were life-threatening to his knowledge. Dahlquist says that as temperatures drop, more folks are turning to various heating methods to stay warm. This includes space heaters, fires in the fireplace, and more. Because of this, it's vital to stay vigilant about what flammable materials might be next to these heat sources. So again, during those winter months, we've got, uh, we've got a number of ignition sources. You're looking at fireplaces, you're looking at furnaces that maybe not been serviced recently, uh, space heaters, uh, all, all these things, uh, all the way to the candles during like power outages are all causes to these types of fires. So for this upcoming winter, make sure to check your smoke detector's batteries, keep your furnace maintained, and be cautious of what flammable materials might be near your heat sources in order to keep you, your loved ones, and your home safe. Reporting in Helena, Tom Buchanan, MTN News.